Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now, as everybody knows, the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus has just been announced to the world, and everybody is excited about it. And one company that's really excited about it is, surprisingly, Microsoft. So Microsoft just announced a special Microsoft edition of the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Now, before anybody starts going crazy and thinking, oh man, they have Windows uh, OS on there now. No, that's not the case. It's still an Android phone. What this special edition or Microsoft edition is, it's just bundled with a lot of Microsoft apps. You know, OneDrive, Cortana, Outlook, and so forth. And so this is something that Microsoft has been doing for a while now, okay? Because as you know, Microsoft actually uh, sued a lot of these companies, you know, a lot of these Android manufacturers a while back uh, for patent issues, okay? And a lot of the things that came out of that patent uh, litigation was the fact that a lot of these companies agreed to bundle Microsoft related apps inside their phones and at the same time they also paid some patent licensing fees so one of the biggest companies to do that was uh, Samsung okay so uh, Microsoft you know they are definitely not a stupid company okay uh, regardless of what you think about them they're very business savvy and so uh, they were able to get what they want in this case and so they're making a lot of money off of Android and like I said earlier you know it's part of their their strategy you know since 2015 so you know they got all their Microsoft products in there you know in Android phone so you know they didn't make it with their Windows phone so you know this is another way that they're gonna be able to get what they want so there's the Android patent royalty suit okay and so this is something that the new CEO Nadella he's really been changing the way that Microsoft operates if you notice uh, here recently uh, Microsoft has really been making a big push into the whole open source community specifically Linux okay and so they just became a member of the Linux foundation and obviously Android runs on top of the Linux kernel and they're instituting Linux in a lot of their own products like their uh, cloud service Microsoft Azure it has a Linux in there too for their virtual machines and so that is really uh, something I never thought would happen there you go see CentOS Ubuntu Red Hat SUSE so that is really really crazy I mean if you think about it, okay and then you know other companies are adopting it Alibaba just announced that they will be using their uh, open source networking software and so this is based on upon their uh, Sonic uh, networking cloud service which is also open source and there it is Azure cloud switch and so they're already starting to capitalize on this okay and then you know OneDrive as well uh, this is something that's a little controversial and uh, because uh, Microsoft's OneDrive service actually runs slower on Linux and there's been a lot of posts on Reddit and stuff stating that if you change the user agent saying it's not from a Linux operating system, the OneDrive service actually runs faster. And so, you know, this is goes back to something that isn't something new, okay? Um, Microsoft has always tried to be everywhere, okay? I mean, if, if you're not going to use their operating system, then they will find ways for you to use their services either voluntarily or not. Okay, and Microsoft, this is why I say they're very smart, okay? They know that, say for example, their mobile OS, they're not winning in one area, right? Um, and Linux especially, you know, they're not going to beat Linux when it comes to how many places Linux is in, specifically in the server market, but Linux is everywhere, okay? So when Microsoft realizes that they're not winning in one area, they always have ways to still make money. You know, and a lot of times it's through litigation, but it's through many other things as well. They have partnerships with a lot of open source companies, okay? And so they're very savvy in that way, okay? That's why Microsoft continually makes money, okay? I mean, uh, say what you will about their operating system and so forth. You know, I don't support everything that Microsoft does, but you really have to look into how they run their business. I mean, it's very savvy, okay? And so. Um, in this case where they're really making a big push into Linux, you know, I'm really wary about it, okay? And what, what I mean by that is that um, I still really believe that Microsoft will release their own uh, distro, okay? Because uh, all Microsoft cares about is getting their Microsoft or Windows services into other platforms, okay? They do have Windows-based apps and stuff on iOS as well. And so they have it on iOS, they have it on Android, and 
now they have it on the Linux platforms as well, whether it's the desktop OS, whether it's server. So Microsoft is everywhere. Okay, so even if people stop buying the Windows operating system, which I believe that Microsoft will stop selling their Windows operating system and they're just going to give it away for free. That's my opinion. That's in the long term. But, you know, we talk about this a lot and we, that is their ecosystems. Okay, Each one of these companies, whether it be Microsoft, Apple, Google, um, Amazon, it doesn't matter. They all want people to remain in their ecosystem. Okay, And their ecosystem, it's really not operating system dependent okay it's it's agnostic okay it's really web-based it's everywhere okay and so that's what their overall strategy is and I think they're just doing a really great job when it comes to that okay regardless of how I feel uh, about how they're doing it I mean I really can't fault them for that because they are really in more places than you would think okay uh, most of the times when I think about a company that's everywhere it's Google Google's absolutely everywhere but so is Microsoft okay now Apple they're not everywhere but honestly they don't really have to be because they make so much money uh, off of their iPhone and uh, all of their other Apple related products but you know when I see things like this okay and once again I said this is not something new Microsoft has done something similar in the past but this is what worries me okay so if companies like Microsoft or even Google or Apple they get more embedded into the Linux community then they could do things like this okay where even though Linux as an operating system is you know a really efficient really scalable system if you have software in there once again I, I think I talked about this earlier where it's not optimized uh, for that operating system or they make changes to where it doesn't run as well on a particular operating system then that really is gonna uh, basically hurt Linux the perception okay and then it's gonna help uh, the other company in this case Microsoft is gonna be like well it runs slower on Linux but it, you know you should use it on a Windows platform okay where you know that is pretty much debunked when you see things like this okay where you've done they've done tests where all they simply had to do was change the user agent and now the software thinks you're using a non Linux operating system and then it runs faster okay so um, you know uh, Microsoft's n not ever gonna uh, admit to that you know but that's not the point okay so as more and more people are basically using web-based platforms you know where people don't really care what the operating system is underneath it's all services based it's going to be more and more important about people's perceptions of how the software performs okay and so if a lot of their services are performing really bad on Linux based uh, Linux based platforms then it makes it a lot easier for companies like Microsoft to say well you know you should if you want the best performance you want to use it on a Microsoft based platform so um, that is a uh, something that I just thought I wanted to talk about today you know I, I really started with this Samsung Galaxy S8 Microsoft Edition but then it made me think about all the other places that Microsoft is really really heading into um, into the whole Linux world okay from mobile to desktop to server side they are really everywhere <laughs> okay so um, next time you're using your uh, open source device just uh, you know just think about the sort of the services and applications that's on your devices as well so it might be surprising that you'd probably have more uh, software and services from companies that you wouldn't expect like Microsoft on your devices that you would normally think especially coming from something that's open source so if you had any thoughts in this you know whether you like it or not or whatever it is you know be sure to leave in the comments area below and as always if you did get a lot of value out of these videos leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for watching see you in another episode Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.